Hello, this is Pedro Rubalcaba, Director of Hispanic Ministries at OCP. It's good to share some reflections with you on this coming fourth Sunday of Lent, which is also known as Leitari Sunday. And you might notice that the priest will come in wearing pink. And what it is, is just a joyful Sunday in the midst of this Lenten season that we have. But the readings have in store for us some very, very rich images. In the first reading from Chronicles, we have the Jewish people who have been exiled into Babylon because of their infidelity. And yet God saves them and brings them back through the king of Persia, brings them back to Jerusalem and rebuilds the temple. And the responsorial psalm we have, let my tongue be silenced if ever I forget you. And it's this song of lament from the Jewish people who have been in exile. And just some beautiful images that come from that of, of how the people are uh, sorry about having forgotten who God is and God's mercy always reigns. Also in Ephesians then we have Paul telling us that the gift of salvation comes through grace, comes through faith, comes through Jesus Christ and God never forgets us. And that's something to remember that even in our darkest hour God's grace is always present, that free love of God that holds on to us and that brings us up from the depths of where we've been. And this Lenten journey is about reflecting not only on our, on our own sinfulness, but on the mercy and grace of God. And in the gospel that we have, it's from John, I and mean, we've been listening to, to the gospel of Mark for so long, but we're listening now to the gospel of John. You've seen the, the placard that says John 3.16, and we might have it memorized by now. For God so loved the world that He sent His Son, His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him might have eternal life. And at the end of that scripture reading in verse 21, He talks about the light, that light came into the world and juxtaposes light and darkness. Obviously, dark is sin, but light is walking in this journey with Christ who came to save us. And above all things, grace triumphs. We should never forget the importance of that free love of God. We, have, we don't have to do a single thing, and God loves us. Now, how we respond to that love is the important part, how we bask in that light and that grace. And so our response at the end of this Lenten season, hopefully, is that we will commit to following Christ once again and to live in that light. And always remember that God first loved us. We are the recipients of that grace. Let's do something with it.